Yo MTV, welcome to my crib. So, it's gonna give you guys a quick breakdown of what I have in my pantry, my fridge, and my freezer, ways that I use these foods, and then this will help give a baseline of all the stuff that will be going into making the recipes. So, let's go. All right, so starting with the pantry. This shelf right here is the carb shelf. So anything that I need that is gonna give me energy for working out, it's generally up here. So we have potatoes, we have rice, instant rice, because convenience, some cereal, pastas back there, popcorn, all that good stuff. Now the best thing you can do is learn how to use condiments and spices to make everything a little bit more versatile. So most of this stuff's gonna be no sugar added or at least lower calorie or lower fat. That's just because I don't need a lot of calories. I normally eat a lot. So I like spicy things. So Valentina, this is sriracha, some chili powder or chili sauce. Tacos, sugar-free ketchup, tomato basil sauce. There's some honey mustard spicy back there. Some seedless black cherry preserves. Jello, because I don't know, you never know. I like to have all these turkeys and canned things for just in case. So the backside, maybe I'll run out of protein, maybe I won't. So having that in there, so Hormel chili is pretty good. If you look at the back here, three grams of fat, 23 grams of protein, 16 carbs two servings so easily gets you 46 grams of protein if you eat the whole thing there's a lot of sodium anything that's canned rule of thumb is going to have tons of extra sodium if it wasn't canned so that's a preservative it keeps it good makes it last for 15 years and you can keep it in your bomb shelter picante sauce black beans well, just the basic heritage of growing up in west texas things that are staples and then you need sugar-free the g hughes i wish i was sponsor no one didn't even face these but I apologize so all of these things are somewhere between 10 to 5 calories per serving tastes pretty good these are my favorites sugar-free very helpful for keeping the calories low and then good with the condiments some skinny girl same idea and then this is more there's some masa down here um, just for making tortillas there's Shelled walnuts, I mix those in, good source of fat, low-carb tortillas, pickles, rice that I never use that I need to get rid of. And that's about it in there. Yeah. All right, so top shelf, strawberries. Thought out, ready to go. Walden's Farm, sugar-free syrup. I do have a lot, it's easier to buy in bulk. Lasts forever. Skin milk, just in case for a little bit of cereal, if I need to carb, cut off carbs, always good to be there. Egg whites, always a good thing to have. Mix in with anything high protein. And then we have Greek yogurt. And then we have some flavored Greek yogurt. This one's from Walmart. Most of this stuff's from Walmart, Aldi, all the basic places. Um, I never shop at Giant Eagle, so have that. And then we have some reduced calorie bread, some eggs, whole eggs, keto bread, always good. That's from Aldi Mountain Dew, because I'm a human. And then we have romaine lettuce, pickles, spring mix. That's some pre-mixed peppers, more spring mix. Most of this from Aldi. Getting into my cheese drawer. I like to buy in bulk, especially if the stuff doesn't go bad. So Trader Joe's light cheese, very good. 60 calories, two grams of fat, so of protein. Easy to add that into anything. This one's a little drier, tastes less natural, but it gets the job done. Moving on, so this is my protein nook. Wherever I'm gonna prep for the week, I kind of keep it in here. So I have some tenderloin. That is pre-portioned chicken breast. So I can just throw that in the air fryer whenever I get home, pop in the shower, and put some more underneath there. As we pan out, some string cheese, all those condiments prior to, more of those. I do like some frescas, an energy drink just in case, jalapenos, and Dr. Pepper. So as you can see, I do like sugar-free things. There's nothing that really shows that they're bad for you as long as you can handle them uh, in your gastric intestinal tract. On to the freezer. The freezer, chicken breasts, frozen, just in case. It's a lot easier to have that stuff, chunk it in the air fryer, have that on the ready. There's some frozen chicken sausage in there just in case as well. You heat a mix. This is pepper onion mix, this is moldy, Trader Joe's, and there's other greens. Then I have more strawberries in here, frozen, not thawed out. 
keep my bread frozen because I like to make sure I have everything I need to. I know I'm usually toasting it, so I don't do a, a dry room temperature bread. And then just in case, some more fried veggies, peppers, okra, turkey meatballs, if I'm really eating those. And the other things I was eating when I was trying to bulk. So, we'll go into summation here. Well, I hope this gives you a little bit of information and understanding of all the things that I have in my pantry, in my fridge, and my freezer, how those all kind of integrate, integrate together and how they're going to be a main staple of all the recipes that I have. They might change periodically when I get bored of something, but for the most part, this is kind of my staples. There's usually about 20-ish things that I kind of use over and over again. So, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and look forward to all these recipes.